Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about budgeting and kind of how we budgeted for Christmas this year and it's something we did differently which I must say really helped a lot and yes I have a little assistant with me today. They can't see me though. Been like that. Can you say hi? <laughs> what are you eating? Oh, thank you. You didn't <laughs> those scram <grand> oh goldfish. <laughs> so silly, huh? Okay, we don't need to keep seeing you. That's correct. <laughs> this is tried this is called trying to get videos done when kids are around, but that is life right now. So. <laughs> so like I said, we're gonna talk about budgeting today, especially for Christmas. So this year, um, I think it was like March or April, we started putting money in a separate account. It was like, it was just a savings account. We had linked to our checking account. And whenever Ed got paid, which at the beginning of the year, he was getting paid every other week. Now he's getting paid every week. So we've adjusted it obviously as it's gone on. Um, but we were having money direct, um, transferred right over on payday to this account to go towards pretty much it was gifts in general. It wasn't just Christmas gifts, though most of it was, but if anybody's birthday popped up throughout the year, um, we could just take out of this account and purchase the gift. And, you know, for us, we do have a lot of relatives who are far away from us, so a lot of it gets shipped. So, you know, you have to put that into play. Um, and I must say, by doing it this way, we had a chunk of money set aside, obviously. Okay, sit back here, please. Um, and so what happened was, is I think it was either... It's okay. I can't remember if it was the... She wants to try to push the buttons on the camera. So anyways, I can't remember. Target had a great like toy sale for a few days. And like I said, I can't remember if it was the end of October, if it was in November. I know it was not for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, but it was around, it was before that. And they had like majorly good deals. And so because we had this money put aside, she wants toys out of this little drawer here because I had the money put aside I literally just ordered everything that we had picked out already for the kids and everything came early it was great because we already had that money I swear to god every time I'm trying to talk <sighs> so anyways once that sale came on I literally just ordered everything and granted I had like 12 packages show up like a week later but everything was ordered so I really felt like even before Thanksgiving happened I had so much done already. I think I was like 90% done with gifts. We actually have a couple more we still have not ordered. We have to do that, but we've been deciding which like else to get. Um, I think we really need to do that this weekend. <laughs> but that's just been one thing. And if we don't get it for the kids, it's not a big deal. But we do want to. So we're just kind of figuring out which set we're going to get. And I think we've finally figured it out. I don't know why it's been so difficult to figure that out this year. But besides that, the fact that we had the money put aside, it wasn't like, oh, I can't do that sale because I don't have the money put aside or we still have to worry about Christmas now and it's, you know, we're into November and we have nothing saved and nothing's, we're not ready and which is what I have felt like almost every year. Though I tried to buy early this year, I actually didn't. <laughs> I waited, um, like I said, once they had that sale, I bought everything. And it wasn't that I was waiting for the sale. I didn't even know the sale was going on. Somebody posted on Instagram and I went over and everything we wanted was on sale. So it just kind of worked out. But it just was so nice because it was like those that few hundred dollars was sitting there to be used. And I just used it. We're done. Ready to go. Um, I really like it. And like I said, we didn't start at the beginning of the year. And we didn't do it. There were some weeks where we just couldn't do it because of finances. But I'm hoping if we were able to start it earlier, that it'll even make it even better. You know, um, I felt like we didn't even have that cushion after we were purchased all the gifts or anything else we might have wanted to do. I know there's like um, a few things we've thought about doing, but because of COVID, it's not happening this year. But like next year, we'd want to do it, hopefully with everything being back to normal. We're hoping to be able to do those things, but to have the funding already there for it. So I definitely think that this year, because we did put that money aside, it just made it so much better. And I wasn't as stressed about it and worrying like, okay, we still don't have all these gifts and what are we going to do? And having to go out late, you know, in the Christmas season and try to buy stuff. Cause I even went, I went to Target 
last week um, and it wasn't even for gifts. I went to go get other things though. I did end up finishing the kids stockings just because I happened to be in that area and saw stuff and picked it up. But I went for other things like we needed pull ups and uh, you know, toiletries and stuff. But oh my God, it was crazy there. And it was like the middle of the day. Like it was, I literally like thought I was gonna lose my mind. And I'm like, it's still like almost a month before Christmas. Cause this was actually, actually it was right after it, it was black Friday actually when I went, that's right. It was black Friday. Um, so I should have planned that one better, but I mean, it wasn't, I, it's just, I feel like people are just so rude this time of year when you go into the store that I almost just don't even want to go in. And so I want, I did pretty much everything online. I would say the stocking stuffers were the only thing I picked up in person and maybe like, um, I picked up books for kids and that just happened to be, I was in a store one day, I saw them, I picked them up and that was it. You know, it wasn't, I actually wasn't even thinking of buying books and like, I just happened to see them. So, you know, I really feel like, like I said, this year was just so much easier because we were putting that little bit aside. And like I said, it was only, I think we were only doing like $25 every other week for a lot of the year. And then we switched to 25 every week. Now next year we might keep it the same. Cause I think if we start at the beginning of the year, we'll have the right amount that we want. We definitely were a little short on it this year, but like I said, we didn't start at the beginning and we didn't, we weren't really, really sure like how much would do we actually spend on Christmas. So now that I know I can budget it better and be like, okay, so we need to have this much money in there by, you know, the end of the, you know, October, November, so that when the sales start, you just pick it up. Or if you see something like, um, I know for Easter, we did those little Play-Doh boxes, which I might do again. And those are really great, but sometimes they have sales like random times of the year or it pops up like on a random day. And it would be great if like I had the money set aside that we could just do it and not have to worry about it coming from another fund or no. not being able to do it because we hi. didn't have the funding. So, hi. So I feel like it definitely was oh. easier this year. <laughs> it's just been a crazy video. Yeah, they can just see your eyes and your forehead. Yeah. So you have to stop. Huh. You can say hi. No, you're just going to be shy. So yeah, so that's how we did the budgeting this year. If you have any ways that you do it, put it in the comments below because I would love to know. Um, and I hope you all are doing well and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.